Okay guys, I got a 1996 Chevy here with the 5.7 and or GMC. So let me tell you a little bit about the vehicle. When it came in, it was a no start. Um, it cranked, but no start. So the first thing we did was make sure that it had what it needed, which is air, fuel, and spark. Um, before we even went to the air, we checked the spark first by just unplugging the spark plug. And of course, screwdriver on the exhaust, we had spark. Second thing we did was we checked fuel. Checked the fuel pressure coming out, it was 60 pounds. And so the third thing would be air. But in this particular case, first I sprayed a little ether into the air filter, acted like it wanted to start, but still no start. I could hear it until it was a fuel issue. So I've ran into this problem multiple times on these trucks and I knew exactly where to go. So this electronic control module right here, this grounds the spark to the injectors. So you can dump all the fuel you want into this by starting fluid or, or fuel right down through the intake and it just stays in the valley. It will not open those injectors until that module tells it to open them. That grounds the injector pulse and opens and closes the injector. So if you have spark and you believe you have fuel and it's still not starting, go straight here first on the 5.7 Vortex uh, injector control module. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.